Hi everyone. In this video, I want to talk about torsional impact loading. So torsional impact is basically the same as uh, when we talk about linear impact, but of course we're talking about a rotating system now rather than um, something in linear translation. So really not much changes when we talk about torsional impact. Uh, the deflection delta becomes theta for, for how much the, the object deforms or deflects, and that equivalent force becomes an equivalent torque. Um, but really, not much else changes. We can write torque for uh, torsional springs as k theta, you know, with the difference being that that's, k is now a stiffness in a rotational sense. Um, so it's how stiff or how much torque needs to be applied in order to rotate by a certain amount. And we can calculate torsional stress um, using kind of a standard torque equation, but now substituting in the equivalent torque rather than just a normal torque that's applied. And you know, be careful, this equation as I've written it is a, is a simplification of, of TR by J, um, which is for circular cross sections. So it's, it has the substitutions in there for uh, polar moment of inertia that only apply to circular cross sections. And I can do the all the same manipulations that we had done for linear impact, but writing them in terms of um, their torsional components we have 2 times the square root of kinetic energy times g, which is bulk modulus, over volume. So other than that, nothing's really changed in terms of how we analyze a, a torsional system compared to how we do a linear system.